uh, hi students again now uh, this is uh, vishweshwaraya assistant uh, professor of english government first grade college kunigil uh, here in this video uh, i'm going to again uh, I, i take up the, some of the things uh, our some of the very um, uh, important elements of english literature and moreover here in this video uh, i would like to draw your attention again towards uh, geoffrey chaucer so we know that chaucer a famous figure in english literature uh, I, uh, you you know uh, chaucer considered um, uh, uh, he was the uh, very uh, important and he was the greatest uh, english poet and author so he is widely considered uh, as the greatest english poet uh, in the of the middle ages he is known for uh, his famous work the canterbury tales so i'll tell you that what is canterbury tales uh, and uh, in detail um, in the next videos okay here just uh, you're going to um, just uh, uh, you're going to be just focused on uh, uh, chaucer's contribution to english literature okay so let us uh, look at uh, what is the, uh, the important what are, what are the important aspects uh, we have to just uh, learn for, uh, about geoffrey geoffrey chaucer okay uh yes uh here uh, 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 let us look at uh, this is the uh, slide uh, you are going to just see the topic on the screen Uh, Chaucer's contribution to English literature, as I, uh, it is uh, prescribed uh, syllabus for optional English students who are studying in first semester from Korea University. Okay, so uh, what are the things uh, you learn here, and uh, what are the outcome of uh, learning outcome of this particular video? You may ask like this, but interesting that here. Uh, in this video, uh, after this listening to this video, you just see that Chaucer's or Geoffrey Chaucer, or uh, you just you can identify Chaucer, and you can describe the time period uh, in which he wrote the Canterbury Tales, and uh, uh, you will learn about uh, the speci uh, the special uh, or. Uh, specific uh, specificities of uh, late medieval uh, textual composition and uh, transmission, and uh, and also you will acquire basic reading uh, ability in uh, Middle Age or Middle English, and uh, you learn about the history of English language as well. Okay, so uh, let okay, uh, so here. Just see that um, Geoffrey or Geoffrey Chaucer. So you can just uh, call him uh, known as Chaucer. And uh, uh, okay, timeline. Just look at that uh, uh, from thirteen forty to fourteen hundred. Okay, let us just uh, uh, you know um, uh, uh, focus on our. Uh, we will see that uh, when was he born and where and what are the is uh, uh, you know uh, biography we will see we will see that his uh, life or his uh, uh, early life how uh, it has taken place right okay so uh, chaucer was born in london uh, most likely in the early 1340 so we do not exactly where Uh, the uh, time or the date okay most likely we call it uh, uh, early 1340 oh okay so it's very interesting that look at that he was the first poet i repeat again he was the first poet who was buried in westminster abbey okay and he considered 
द ग्रेटेस्ट इंग्लिश पॉइट ऑफ द मिडल एजेस वाई बिकॉज ही स्टार्टेड टू राइट पोएट्री इन इंग्लिश ओके चार्ज एज द फादर ऑफ पोएट्री इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर ड्यू टू हिज अनफर्गेटेबल कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशंस टू द इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज एंड लिटरेचर सो I repeat again here Chaucer Geoffrey Chaucer considered as the father of English poetry okay so we see that uh, more things about uh, Chaucer and uh, okay uh yes uh, let uh, uh, let us just uh, Uh, speak about uh, um, early life of Geoffrey Chaucer. Uh, some of the highlights of his early life. Uh, right, Chaucer's family uh, was the bourgeois class, um, descended uh, from an affluent family uh, who made their money um, in the London wine trade. According to some sources, uh, Chaucer's father John. carried on the family wine business okay a uh, joffrey chaucer is believed to have attended uh, st paul's uh, cathedral school and where he probably first uh, became acquainted with the uh, influential writing of uh, virgil and uh, ovid in uh, later Chaucer became a public uh, servant to Countess Elizabeth of uh, uh, Ulster, the Duke of uh, um, Clarence's wife, for which uh, he was paid a small uh, stipend, uh, enough to pay uh, for his food and clothing. Uh, and uh, later, uh, as the teenager, Chaucer went off to fight. uh in the 100 uh, years war in france and at uh, rethel he was captured for uh, ransom and edward uh, king edward 3 uh, helped uh, pay his uh, ransom after charles's release he joined the royal service traveling throughout france spain and Italy on uh, diplomatic uh, missions uh, throughout the early to uh, middle of uh, 1360s uh, for his services king edward granted chaucer a, pe- a pension of uh, 20 marks okay later uh, chaucer married uh, philippa uh, royt uh, the daughter of uh, sir uh, penny royt and the marriage conven- uh, uh, conveniently helped uh, further charles's career uh, in the english court okay so we just see like this uh, his career took place and uh, later on uh, we can just see that uh, mm, uh, uh, okay so uh, okay Uh, in the later of his life um, after richard the uh, second uh, had uh, ascended to the throne chaucer uh, held a draining and uh, dangerous position as clerk of uh, the works he was robbed by highwaymen twice while on the job uh, which one uh, which only served to further compound his uh, financial worries Uh, to make matters even worse chaucer had stopped receiving his pension uh, chaucer eventually uh, resigned the position for a lower uh, but less stressful appointment as a sub forester or gardener uh, at the king's park in uh, um, uh, somersetshire okay Uh, uh the legendary of 14th century we call it as 
ఒక ఇంగ్లీష్ పాయింట్ చాప్టర్ చాస్ డైట్ ఇన్ అక్టోబర్ అక్టోబర్ ట్వంటీ ఫిఫ్త్ ఫోర్టీన్ హండ్రెడ్ ఇన్ లండన్ ఇంగ్లాండ్ హీ డైట్ ఆఫ్ అన్నోన్ కాజెస్ అండ్ వాజ్ సిక్స్టీ ఇయర్స్ ఓల్డ్ అట్ ద టైమ్ ఓకే చాజు వాజ్ బరీడ్ as i told you in uh, westminster abbey uh, his uh, gravestone became the center of what was to be called poet's corner i repeat uh, uh, the his gravestone became the center for a uh, center of what was to be called now as poet's corner a spot where such famous british writers as robert browning and uh, charles dickens were later honored and interred so uh, like this let us uh, move on to the next slide mm, charles's contribution to language what are the contributions i know he made to lang- language that is english language okay charles uh, who preferred english language over latin and french english language was uh, in uh, raw form i had he ventured upon uh, using the english language uh, for his poetry first of its kind he transferred uh, transformed the east uh, midland dialect uh, uh, into a full fledged language of england charles knew that latin and french due to its uh, complex grammar uh, would lag behind english language okay so we call it as according to sir walter uh, rally he purified the english of his time from its dross he shaped it into a fit instrument for his use okay that is weak just say that okay uh the year in the slide charles's contribution to poetry right charles's prominent contribution to the english language and literature is his contribution to english poetry okay he came to know that any piece of literature must deal with real life see that is what uh, uh, is some of uh, okay his Cant- canterbury tales focus on real life okay look at that i repeat again he came to know that any piece of literature must deal with real life okay in the age of chaucer most of the poets used to compose uh, allegorical poetry but he introduced a new one okay so then contemporary tales uh, is the product deals directly with life as it was in his age and describes every character uh, uh, in its true colors it is he does not exaggerate or uh, uh, undergrade uh, any character he say he says it as it is that is what i already told you he did it deals with real life yeah so look at that so in the next slide uh, uh, you just see here that these uh, chasers um, very greatest uh, work Mm, and a uh, very interesting work that is the canterbury tales so it was started to write uh, uh, in nine, uh, in uh, 1387 to 1400 so look at that it took uh, it took a lot of time to write okay look at this uh, what is this canterbury tales what it do, what does it include and uh, uh, other things we are going to just uh, uh learnia here it is a collection of 24 stories or there in this uh, uh, okay tales the which uh, runs to over 17000 lines 
uh, written in Middle English, uh, as I told you, uh, in 1387 to 1400 it was took, uh, uh, it was taken so much of time to complete. The most famous work of literature ever written. Okay, next. Uh, Chaucer's richly uh, detailed text it is. So, uh, according to Dryden or Dryden uh, remarks are there here. Uh, it was God's plenty. Then, it, it is both one long narrative. Okay. Uh, what are the narratives? As I told you, it's uh, of the pilgrims and their pilgrimage. We find the long narrative of pilgrims and their pilgrimage. Okay, we can call, call it as it is an encyclopedia of shorter narratives. Okay, so then, uh, yeah, so here we find again, uh, yeah, uh, here. Mm, here in this uh, Canterbury Tales, um, Chaucer uh, initially uh, had planned for each of his characters to tell four stories apiece. Uh, the first two stories would be set as the character was on his or her way to Canterbury and the second uh, two were to take place as the character was uh, heading home. Apparently, Chaucer's goal was writing 120 stories was an overly ambitious one in actually, but the Canterbury Tales is made up to only 24 stories or tales and rather abruptly ends before its characters even make it to Canterbury. The tales are fragmented and varied in order and scholars continue to debate whether the tales were published in their correct order despite its uh, uh, erratic qualities the canterbury tales continue to be acknowledged for the beautiful rhythm of charles's language and his characteristic use of clever satirical wit okay so mm, uh, as i told you it is both one large drama we find drama in each and a complicate uh, and a compilation of most literary forms known as known to medieval literature we find romance fabulous breton lay moral fable verse romance beast fable prayer to the virgin and so the list goes on the tales uh, include romantic adventurers uh, fabrics saints uh, biographies animal fables religious allegories and even a sermon and range into tone from pious moralistic tales to levit and uh, okay vulgar sexual forces we find here okay now let us just uh, uh, read out uh, stories in canterbury tales okay uh, 24 stories as i told you that it is very difficult to uh, okay focus on all but let just listen or look at that how uh, the stories are there gender prologue is there the knight's tale the miller's prologue and tale the Reeves prologue and tale, the Cook's prologue and tale, the Man of Law's introduction prologue tale and epilogue, the Wife of Bath's prologue and tale, the Freyr's uh, prologue and tale. Uh, it continues. Uh, the Summons uh, prologue and tale, the Clerk's prologue and tale, the Merchant's prologue and uh, tale and epilogue. The Squay's Introduction and Tale, The Franklin's Prologue and Tale, The Physician's Tale, Pardoner's uh, Introduction, Prologue and Tale, Sh The Shipman's Tale, uh, Prioress's uh, Prologue and Tale, The Prologue and Tale of 
सर टॉपस द टेल ऑफ मेलीबी द मॉन्स प्रोलाग एंड टेल द नन्स प्रीज प्रोलाग टेल एंड एपिलॉग द सेकेंड नन्स प्रोलाग एंड टेल द कैनन्स योमेंस प्रोलाग एंड टेल द मनसिपल्स प्रोलाग एंड टेल द पार्सन्स प्रोलाग एंड टेल चॉसेस रिट्रैक्शन ओके ओके विल सी दैट हियर लाइक दिस चॉसेस कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टू वर्सिफिकेशन वट आर द थिंग्स वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न ओके सी वी सी हियर इन दिस स्लाइड चॉसेस कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टू वर्सिफिकेशन सो एज ए टोल यू दाई इज कैंटरी टेल इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वट आर द Uh, how the language is used here english language is used by chaucer that is very important so uh, chaucer was the first poet as i told you that who tried uh, his hands on english poetry so uh, chaucer discarded his method of um, alteration and introduced a new one which one which had regular number of syllables Uh, end uh, rhyme and absence of um, frequent uh, repetitions. That was his uh, very style of writing. Okay, Chaucer used lines of ten syllables, and the lines are in couplets. Okay, every line a couplet rhyme with each other. That is the uh, very unique method he uh, used here. Chaucer is also famous for his new form of stanza called Chaucerian stanza seven lines having uh, octosyllabic meter rhythm a rhyme uh, uh, no as i told you octosyllabic meter rhyme scheme of uh, uh, rhyme scheme is a b a b b c c a repeat a b a b b c c Chaucer is also regarded as the originator of heroic heroic couplet. Okay, what is heroic couplet? Is widely used in Canterbury Tales by Chaucer, and later on by his successor like uh, Pope and Dryden. Okay, this is how uh, you are going to just see this here. So, uh, overall. Mm, the contribution of Chaucer's uh, uh, Canterbury Tales uh, to the English literature is very uh, greatly acclaimed and uh, is very famous. So that, as you or the English English literature students, you must focus on how uh, Chaucer's uh, contribution is. made this uh, english literature uh, uh, and how his contribution is important and you must know uh, more about chaucer okay like this uh, i have some reference here so mcqs you will get it right like this uh, okay thank you so uh, this is about uh, chaucer's contribution to english literature thank you very much uh, see you in other uh, session okay thank you thank you very much right